As the real estate sales numbers come out on a consistently monthly basis, they're going to show some very huge increases in the number of homes sold as well as home prices. Some price increases will be higher in different parts of the country. We must all be very cautious when hearing these numbers. Many of the media are saying that the real estate market is now on the way up, prices included. Well, it's not that simple. Where there's a saleable item, the price will always be determined by supply and demand. According to Dictionary.com, the relationship between supply and demand determines the price of an item. In real estate, supply and demand is represented as the current month's supply of homes for sale divided by the rate of sale that homes are selling in the previous months. In every market, the supply and demand ratio goes from one extreme to another. In most cases, the lower priced homes have a better ratio than the higher priced homes. While the market is heading in the right direction, don't get caught up in seeing it as one big market. The market needs to continue to be divided by price ranges and locality. A good guideline to go by is to look at the current absorption with your within your price range. One to four months of supply creates a seller's market where there are not enough homes to satisfy buyer demand. Appreciation is guaranteed. Five to six months creates a balanced market and homes appreciate at a rate a little greater than inflation. And seven plus months creates a buyer's market where the number of homes for sale exceeds the demand. Depreciation will happen in this scenario. As a seller, we can't take what the media says and use it as a blanket statement. When you discuss your home's value with your real estate expert, you should be able to clearly see and understand the supply and demand ratio with your municipality and specific price range and how that ratio will impact your price. Thanks and have a great day.